Uh, what do we say? What are we reading? Raid Nemesis? The Nemesis video popped off. He enjoyed playing Velkas and he's never gonna play it again because he gave up. <laughs> so yeah, it's only fair we send him one of the raids at least. Yo, what's up? Thanks for the raid. So I guess I gotta play more Velikos, huh? Is this why he raided me? To try to bribe me to play more Velikos? To play more Velikos? Hmm... Okay, why did I play Velikos? I don't know. I don't know why I picked Velikos. But here we are. <laughs> Guys, we did it. So two things here. Can you show tab? Yeah, every high level player does this. I do this as well. I spam tab a lot. So I'm trying to catch him and he spams it. There we go. <laughs> so Velkas here is good against their comp. He just counters everything except Zerd. Zerd is the only one who counters him. And he's going to get outscale heavily. So early and mid game has to be absolutely crazy good. And the issue is his team is drawing him back. These are very, very champs to play with Velkas. I mean, Blitz can be good if he's very good. He can set him up for 100 to zeros. But yeah, so he's got quite a lot of positives here, but quite a lot of negatives here. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Throw back to Worlds, no idea why Vekas is locked in. No, I can tell you... Whoa, no, so okay, basically Blitz. basically what happened at Worlds was... I can tell you what happened. Blitz at Worlds, off. in Fnatic, I told my team, Orianna is OP months before the tournament started. Every scream, every competitive game was dictated by Orianna. If we played it, we won. If I played it, we usually lost. But then, my team was like, well, we have three locked-in bans on red side. Well, if we need to have three locked-in bans on red side and one of them is no Orianna, we have big problems, no? Because these locked-in bans aren't coming from my lane. They aren't midland bans. So, basically, the issue was that we can't afford to ban Orianna because we have three locked-in bans. So, okay, Nemesis, find something you play against Orianna. I'm like, okay, well, okay, wait, I don't uh, know. Everything sucks. We can't. I'm gonna slow down now back to one because people want to keep track of the laning. Queen I usually watch it way higher, play, but yeah. So... Let's try Velikos. Maybe because enemy will have no clue what Velikos does. Maybe maybe that will caught them off guard. That obviously didn't work, right? But I mean, I, I think my problem. We have. I do believe I watched that game. I, there there might be a review on my channel actually, because every time Velikos picked in pro, I I'm there. <laughs> I don't think that was uh, that was very well played. Three locked in fucking bands. On red side. But yeah, I, it sucks being in a team. I, I'm sorry for posing a lot, but it really sucks. And trust me, like when I when I played amateur and, and semi competitive season, like season five, season six, you're just a decision making of the constant team, and it's very difficult. And this is one of the difficult things about being a pro player is the desync between the general populace and your team. Your team has insider knowledge on what happened and what transpired. You cannot really see somebody's reasoning throughout the game and their shot calling, who's saying what and what's happening internally. So very often you're gonna get pushed into bad scenarios, bad champions uh, for the sake of the team, and that's that's not gonna look good to the basically 99% of people uh, who are clueless about the scene. Uh, it's just not really looking good. And you might come up looking really bad there, despite it not being your fault. So I, 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 I just think it's an interesting piece of trivia, you know, for like insight. Only team. Okay. Early laning good. You want to neutralize Zerd by pushing. Focused. Yep, he's doing it well, except that he's not managing because he's going to miss minions here. Uh, he didn't do the, the perfect the perfect lineup. Oh! God, yeah, he gets away with it. The fact that I got every minion here. Is yeah, he got away with it. That was very risky. Because like, I pushed the wave Zerat could have pressured him there. He, he obviously lost HP because he's focused in like, he has to do five auto attacks back to back, like without a single window. I prefer to leave a little bit of window in between so you can catch the minions confidently, but also you can choose where you hit them. That's very, very important so you don't get punished. So that's a good shot, but suboptimal in terms of trading, but it's good because Zerat's going to miss fast, some. That means that he probably loses some here. Uh, yeah, it's nice. three up. That's usually what I do, level 2 shove into Zerat. I think in he this matchup, push. I'll try to farm till... I think I'll try to farm till second six. cannon wave and then I just reset. On 6, he has kill potential. He has got, got better all in. What does locked in ban means? It means that there's champions that we have to ban because we have issues playing against them and we don't want to leave them open no matter what. That's what locked in ban means. The Zerat is managing his mana terribly. He's getting absolutely smacked in this lane. Yeah, what do you what do you use accounts? No is this like the the low master one? GM. Because there are some really good Zerd players in the US, and this guy doesn't seem like to be one of them. Definitely could have kicked that Q, I think. Need to be also careful with my mana. Yeah, Velkus has no way of recovery. Well, Zerd's gonna slowly like spot, get it back though. up. So he's already he definitely gank me. He's looking for a way out now to, to reset. He's already thinking about the reset soon. So there he's gonna go. do the DMAT probably into quick reset. 
that's going to be on the wave number six, which is the cannon wave. So you'll see. It's probably going to save one or two demats for that. Good. Very good spacing now. Even though he can beat him in trade, like this is just discipline high elo play. And this is what sucks in this matchup. If enemy has a jungler with Pryo, who's much better in ganking and mid focus, it's so pain. Because they're like, whoever pushes this wins this hard. And if you cannot push because you're getting punished by junglers, it's rough. Game is mastery according to OBGG. Okay, fair enough. A reset here with boots. So. So. Yeah, here we go. See two D mats. That might be the play. Instant, uh, instant boots the cannon. Are super OP and I can just the double right W. Now. Yeah. He's not going two points in W again. Smile. Okay. Gonna go yeah, this roam is, I think, pointless. Here. Is it? Why I feel like recall is just better. The wave. I mean, he's gonna miss most of it anyway. I, I would just get my own recall. Damn, Nemesis is so aggressive. Holy shit. He's really trying to provoke this, like, 1v4. He's, like, the only person who can move on the map. I, I would just take a recall there, honestly. <laughs> oh my. I mean, he basically... Like, see, this is some of the things that I just don't like doing. And I'm gonna explain why. You're trading for enemy time and pressure. And this is, theoretically, for a competitive game, worth it for 5v5. Because your team gets much more tempo on the map and more pressure. And you have vision of the enemy jungler and a mid laner for a really long time. But on the other hand, you're sacrificing yourself. And that defeats the purpose of solo queue to quite a good extent. Because uh, if you do this, like, twice and your teammates still lose, like, the game is over for you. Like, you just killed all of your advantages. Uh, I mean, I denied full wave of him, but now it's harder to find the reset. I think reset is fine, right? The yeah, he has crash. to do it here, no matter what, he has to yeah, reset there. Miscalculated it. Yeah, looks okay, I think. I'll just a bit. Ghost diff. Actually, if I didn't have Ghost there, I would have to flash. Ghost is so cold. genius. I'm telling you. You can't play Vokus ghost without so Ghost so in high elo. So yeah, you need it. It's too damn good. Fixes so many weaknesses. Okay, good farming. Brilliant farming. Okay, can you deny the recoil? Deep Q. <laughs> nice try. That rarely works, but... If it works, it kills the enemy laner. Yeah, Can you explain, sorry, what is the value of a minion dematerialized, whatever it's called? I don't see how insta-killing 3 minions... Well, first of all, you're insta-killing 3 minions. Secondly, you're getting um, extra 6% bonus damage to each unique minion, and then 3 subsequently. It fixes your certain thresholds of wave clear. Like, let's say here, he's gonna go max Q with 1 point in W, and he can still wave clear with no problems because of the extra damage. With 2 points, you can confidently clear. That's super chill. The hidden advantage is the fast shove and tempo, and that's high elo thing especially if you're running ghost so if you're running ghost which is objectively 10 times better than teleport in in terms of team fighting and, and map control on the characters like Velkus, the issue of that is you have weaker early game because early game teleport reset is why it's the norm because it's that's why it's in competitive if you cannot do a proper reset in early game there's gonna gank you you have to recall your wave is frozen you're fucked so you get a free cheater recall with teleport but without teleport you make up that advantage with the uh, dematerializer wave four five six right because the third wave is the cannon then you do four five fast shove six with a d mat because that's a cannon wave and then you get tempo and prior which you convert into a recall which is a cheater recall you miss nothing you come back and you negate all the weakness of not having teleport and then you play the game with the ghost and then you're just much better that's what i've been doing and i'm telling you i got 65 percent bin rate on this champ one klp during the whole fiasco where he was nerfed, like he was shit. And after that he received a buff and another one is still coming. Okay, now they're looking for a kill. Full combo, full combo, full combo. Ah, nice try. Still gonna do a good job. The fuck is Zara doing? Damn. I thought I would be able to dodge. Yeah, good play. Has to flash. R.I.P. Blitzy boy. Oh, nice. Can Lee can get something? this. Lee can get this, right? Oh, never mind. There's Sona there. Oh. What? <laughs> oh my god. He did everything right. Zarts, we got 6 and ult, me. Yeah. 
I think a very star is gonna get six to not me. Okay. Lee's buying him the wave and I got a kill. Nice. This and save me. Big words. Can I go for the wave or is it too greedy? Hmm. With Dmat, I kind of one shot it though. Well, it depends where Nunu is if he's a cunt. You wouldn't think Nunu would hover this, but solo queue is just weird, um, you know. There's like a good percent play. I didn't put two points W this game, but that's kind of because of how the game went. Yeah, it, it was it was just perma fighting, and he had prior anyway, so he didn't need it. I'll do it now, I think, though. He didn't even need it at this point. He already no has. Flash. If I ever can get an ult on him, but I it's all right. One shot him. He will get, have to get a level ten anyway, right? My vein is to zero, uh, two levels up on the Olaf. Yeah, Olaf doing desperation rooms. Shit. <laughs> that feels bad when you do an angle like that. I'm still glad he adopted the ghost. It's gonna be much better than the last time. Because last time he played well, but just you can't convert an impact. Good, good. This is a high elo play, by the way, that he did. Let's go! Oh, Leo, Brilliant. Okay, we need to run. Look look at the ghost. Look look at the control you got. You pulled another guy, you killed one guy, you and you like you're flash. not under threat. He's trying to bait me. <laughs> He's trying Bastard. to bait me. He's gonna flash at me and kill me with Olaf him. is desperate as fuck. Does he even have flash though? Zard can ult me. Need to not forget that. Oh, uh, this is difficult now to clear. <laughs> he fucked it up. Fuck, I miss cannon, man. I can't. Like, I know what he's trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is still correct discipline play because you're winning. Uh, also, why I said that that was a high elo play is um, high elo players tend to play for pressure more than kills. That's not a guaranteed kill that he had on Zerat. It's just very, very good tempo and getting him low, and it's more than enough. And I would do the same because you get the vape clear at the same time as you're crushing Zerat. So it's not six stack setup to kill, but it's it's more than enough to justify it, right? And then you just do the go subsequently, and he found the kill as well while living. So perfect. Usually those plays end up being a delayed kill, not instantly. Uh, but maybe two waves down, his jungler would, would have came, executed him under turret, or he would land some nasty shit. <laughs> the Zerat roam top die, oh my god. And Olaf can't beat uh, Velkus at this stage. Velkus is very good against Olaf. Olaf can only beat him with ult. Perfect game. No, yeah, this is free low. All he has to do is now play for crazy bot know. rotations. If they can shut that down and open up turrets with Tristana, it's GG. So the job now is to play very good prior mid and then uh, do a bot rotation. Okay, win the game, guys. Win the game. We're making the squid work. Squid game! Let's go. I'm so happy, man. What an evolution. We're in the game. Let's think. Zard has flash. I think Their comp does. still has issues though. Snowball with this type of comp is disgustingly bad. You're essentially relying on like Vayne going in and out playing, but they have CC and they have tools, right? Releasing going in and out playing, still too much CC. They have no CC. Comps without CC snowball much, much harder. So you have to play a cleaner map and you basically rely just on Blitzcrank. So even though they're massively ahead here, they still have to play as if they're not massively ahead, which requires a lot of discipline. So you'll see. It's doing exact build I'm doing now. The more uh, utility oriented, because oh he has a lot of base damage anyway. He's not even missing cannons like what me, what the me? fuck? Guys, we did one-to-one -one coaching. He knows everything I know. He's missing cannons just like me. I can just delete the wave and then play super safe. <laughs> No plant. I got ghost soon. Ghost can surprise Zarot. Yeah, this matchup is difficult. Despite Sorry. being ahead, it's very, very difficult because Zarot can still play it well after Lost Chapter. So the conversion in this matchup, after you kill him once or twice, is very difficult because he's going to play much, much safer and longer range. That's so you have to play with windows of uh, Pryo. There's no plant in River as well. 
Do I go top? Yeah, or? he has to commit here. Okay, I do. He has to commit. I would honestly pop ghost. Time is of essence here. I would honestly just ghost that shit and go go balls deep. Zarge is coming. Nice angle. He's trying to cover the exit as well. Nice. He's booting him out. I don't have enough though to kill yeah, him. Yeah, he, need, he needs a uh, line race. Okay, he's gonna be double sums. I need to use both sums. Not the best. It's an awkward recall because you want to get a line really race. I also have yeah. to wait for that. Shit recall, unfortunately, but you can't. Set it up differently. Look, is such a weird champ, is a chatter. True. Very Not true. Bad. Once he gets line reads, they've been pretty much every fight because of him. Have I uh, provided he can wait? survive. Not given up, but I think the champ is too weak to be played. And. Yep. I'm waiting for some buffs and new season to see if. He's getting buffs. Items make him better. Plus three armor and new items. He, he might actually become balanced. I just want some buffs on the champion. He's so fun though. Deep ward, deep ward. He needs to land those angles and see Zerd before. Because he can't really see Nunu easily. Okay, yeah, line raid dragon fight. Just to get Leonji. That's just a, like a mage fizz badman, fizz badman moment. You go out of base with 1000 gold, you can't buy anything. Then you need to lane for one wave, you get enough gold, then you need to base again. <laughs> The and then what? Times into base like this is and then once you get the easy item, you have to go for death cap, <laughs> which is even worse. Very very frustrating. <laughs> uh, Vekus is a stronger champ than Hui, guys. I'm not even yeah, kidding. Yeah, he is. I've said this. This win rate supports that claim. Top lane is so over. Poor Olaf, man. And you play Vayne into Olaf and she outscales you by like level ten already. And then you're just useless for the rest okay. of the game. Okay. Deep ward, ghost coming up soonish. I'm uh, gonna go bot here. There seems to be some action. Sir, even these easy clap free flash, maybe kill. Ah, uh, that was bad. Yeah. I should have just not ulted because it was very obvious he's gonna flash there because he has to, so. Yeah, good call. Good call. Bro. This game on, on Velkus feels way better than any but single no, game I've no seen him play. Though, so next time I, I probably him. watch like. I can Three, four Nemesis Vulcus games. And there's a fundamental difference here. Nicely timed by me. You need to be careful though, I could die he's to near, his ult. Yeah, he's near lethal to ult, so, so gotta watch out. If he lands a bit more spells on me. But yeah, he has to play pressure here. One guy is dead. No they have Tristana threatening bot. Yeah, that's fine. He's not doing like the ostracizing cues, you know, to... Uh, when, he, when he did that... Oh, let me show you again. Here, when he does the WQ, you can mask the animation of Q and shoot it to the side. So instead of hitting the first minion with the Q, you do a Q at a like 45 degree angle, while you do W in a right down the middle. So that way you either zone the Zerat or hit him, or you even just gauge the pattern of his dodging, which is going to help you later down the road. Right? So if you hit that Q, then the next Q would sure, be lethal. Yeah, his team is massive. They're looking very good. They just have to make sure not uh, to drop dragons. Gonna... They have to get every single dragon. Otherwise, this game can get bubbly. Because again, enemies have ease of access. They have much easier to play. Ludens is not that good in on Velikos in general. Even yeah. if you justify Ludens. Yeah. It's hard to justify it. I am I mean, you just have to play a few games and you're gonna get the feeling that Ludens doesn't oh, he's click well. Clearing. Let's see. He's pretty good at this point with Lion Race, yeah. He has to use E though. Not too bad. Just took him three rotations. Not bad. Yeah. Could have been worse. Find you through your shorts. They're so entertaining and unique. I wish you the best. Thank you. Appreciate it.
Wait until next week when Ooh, you see my pants. Bottling, but Nuno is close proximity. That's a, that's that's a good joke, right, guys? Don't I just came up with it. Can I do yeah. the crab or does crab it take takes a while? Crab takes a while. I think I can. Doesn't seem to be taking that long. What? <laughs> crab takes a while, guys. Because he dodges better than any other human. Okay. Is Harold coming up? I just have to choke him out, get every objective. He has to make sure not to die. That's the best oh way to they throw. As long as he can live, they should be good in this game. I would just pop instantly ghost, honestly. Yeah, I don't know why he is so hesitant to, to ghost. Like, ghost allows you to, to re-engage there. This way he just left. He lost that? He could have left. Yeah, I mean, oh, 4v5 uh, and a guy died, so 3v5. Maybe I can still do something. Wait, how did he make his... Look at this! How did he make the objective vote tiny? Can you make the surrender vote tiny? That's too good, man. It's way too good. I would honestly just insta-ghost that shit. You get so much more control. This is huge for enemies. They're getting objective bounty, a bunch of kills. If they kill Vayne here... Like, this is the, the nightmare scenario for their comp. Where everyone plays selfish and tries to recover it one by one. He flashes out of my laser! Yeah. Fizz Batman. <laughs> yeah, this is the worst way to play it. Because their comp sucks, you know? Velko's moment. <laughs> Imagine you have a Syndra there, everyone just dies. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, I just need to, you need better angles, better positionings to, to run that shit. It's not as forgiving as many other champs. Yeah, this is a good way to throw it. They collected so many bounties here. They have to make sure they get every dragon. Yeah, no bots. Go, Nemesis, go. This enemy virus isn't he played really well this game. Like, I'd be sad. Really this was like his major mistake moment. Like, dying like here, one for one. to be a bit slow. Like, yeah, I mean, it's... no, 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 turn, turn rate is perfect. No, nah, turn rate is perfect because it plays exactly with your positioning. Uh, it's such a good curve that if you ult at max range, you can always control enemies. Like, always, no matter what, right? Even if they flash, you can still track them. If you're middle, you can kind of get punished. If you're too close, they can juke you perfectly. It's such a perfectly designed gradient of how it works and where it works. If it turned uh, faster, it would just kill all of that, and you would only get punished melee from dodges and bullshit. That would just be very punishing for enemies for no reason, right? U ult is very cool. It's perfectly designed. I wouldn't really touch that rate, honestly. Um, yeah. It's designed to have a weakness, right? Mm. Against a mobile character, he can't, like, stick on them. Precisely. But yeah, one could argue that in Season 14, Season 13... That's the inflation the of... does have a slow turn rate. Infl inflation of dashes and bullshit, too. yeah. It gets punished more and more. definitely argue that. But you also get rewarded more and more for better usage. Now, why is it the... It, it might not look like a major mistake there. Because he traded one for one, really. His team fucked up. But not popping the ghost early there and trying to get a re-engage. Allowing enemies to recuperate after the chase. Because they chased one guy to get the kill. He's supposed to trade one there, right, initially. And if he pops ghost, goes out of range uh, of Zerat ult, he can turn around and kill one easily. And then they can just either chase or Vayne can get stuff. That would have gone completely differently if he was more decisive. Dude, this game is... I'm, I'm very curious how this goes. Because this game was played right before. Like, I, while I was playing my game against Zerat, he was playing this, and chat told me. So we ended up watching this right after. So. The dragon. It's complete fresh material. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh! We got a subber! This is from today, this is from half an hour ago. Oh, Minako SV, thank you so much, appreciate the sub. Let's go, Just thanks. Yeah, this is where they're getting caught, because they have to go deep on the map, and their snowball is not as clear-cut. Clear 
Um, you, they should swap sides, honestly. Like, Vayne should be the Go one on the bot. Velka should be one on the toppers, like, or closer to tops. Actually, like, Velka should not even be side at all. Because you have Tristana. Tristana is a good dueler and pusher. So you have something like Tristana top, closer to major objective. Vayne bot okay. farthest away from the major objective. And Zer Velka's mid, uh, able to influence every side. That's kind of the optimal, uh... Okay. That's... Like, they can't make picks without Velka's. You, you literally cannot make picks without Velka's in this comp. Even though Tristana is majorly fed, Velkas is better for picks here. Like, Tristana Zara picks are too risky because they have too much support. Mean, he's more annoying than me. Uh, That's how it feels yeah. right now. Uh, Zerat has more impact here because of how his team is playing the map. So Zerat is going to have more impact, unfortunately. it's It sucks. Ramen Noodles! Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. Let's go. Thank you, fellas. Thank you, thank you. Now stop making me pause this fucking video. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a risky wave mid, but he's got sums. Yeah, we just brought me back to league after grabs. four years. What are you talking about Grammys in the chat? Literally, all these successful artists that have tons of these Grammys are going to tell you that Grammys are fucking useless. Because they are. Ooh, Flawless. That felt good. He even did a borderline invisible that felt Q there. Good. That was smooth as fuck, yeah. And look, look at the build. He's going uh, lucidity, which is uh, it's pure utility, and it assists with his ghost and flash, and it synergizes with that. He's going cosmic, which is again mobility, utility versus their comp, because he doesn't need major damage really. So it, he's just got the best build in slot, and it's not designed for damage, it's designed for consistency and utility. So he has 85 CDR, high move speed, but he still one shots a tank. It's beautiful. That's how it should be. Thank you, guy in chat, for your expertise in saying. NPC music bad, hip hop music good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Your opinion uh. is valued. Okay, now he's in the right lane. He's mid. Mid into side lane control. Mid into invades in the jungle. That's how they do this. He should be the controlling piece. Now he can converge here. And they have Vayne threatening both side. Sucks this guy gets caught too deep. If he ran a bit longer, he could pop ghost and chase him down. Mm. He just died way too early, sadly. Very assaulted. He, he has no him. setup anymore, sadly. So now he's playing blind solo. He's just kind of cancerous, you know. He still relies on a landing queue here. He can't really catch otherwise. Man, she's so fast. Yeah, what the hell? Man, sad. She has inbuilt ghost, I guess. <laughs> yep. This is a risky positioning. He gets the E, though. We do barn. We have quick blades on Trist, and we have. If it can, if it can zone and poke and get some nasty angles, they actually can do Baron. They do it really quickly, and Velka is one of the best goalkeepers on the Baron. You know, he should apply Landry slowly while also zoning. That's his job. Okay, okay. He's on the wrong side, though. He's on the wrong side. Oh no! Olaf, this is. Uh, I should have flashed before ult. I think. Yeah, can you dodge them all? Bad flash. He's still good, though. Oh! Yeah. I can barely see the Zartult um, circle because of low settings. It's crazy. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, why that's why I always play on the opposite side here, because Olaf wants you to be try to zoning him so he can pop ult and engage you. And that siphons the whole team to focus Olaf, which is what you shouldn't do, and that's what he wants to do. He wants to be in that position. While on the left side, if you can break them, Olaf just perishes on his own anyway, because he's useless. And you break the other side. If you can land a nasty combo on the left, it's just the fight is just instantly over. You get the Baron, you get the fight, you get perfect reset everything. It's just a riskier, and they had to trade some kills for it. But they got they got it though. Pretty good. Because it was the objectively correct call to, to make to do that bear. It was just a good play. Enemies need perfect synergy in order to, to do anything. This song deserves a Grammy. Thank you. You're right. Fuck oh, cannon. Okay, they have to play right, dragon right. here. They can, they might throw this if they if they go too deep. Again, they have to wait for their team, they need to wait for Blitz. Why is Tristana pushing the lane still? The fuck is she doing? She got Baron and some kills after. She didn't reset. She even got a shutdown. She's still pushing. What's wrong with her? Just recall and play Dragon side. 
He's not necessary to split there. They got Nunu Chase out of base. They got a, like, Olaf. They got Zerath. That's such a low velo throw, man. Like, you get Baron a bunch of kills and you don't reset. She's probably sitting on like 2k gold, 3. Uh, he's also throwing here. He's got no sums. He can't do this. This is... This is ridiculous. I'm not sure why is he doing I'm this. So that no. They, they, this uh, is chaotic. Loki, so Loki is me at this point. This is a chaotic playstyle, which is completely it's unnecessary. Really nice. They play goalkeeper on the objectives and they win. Not strong. I thought she See? was. Even though Vayne and uh, Tristana and Blitz should theoretically win this, they sometimes don't because it's just solo queue. So you don't incite these plays in the first place by just avoiding them. You know, you play the Jump map Tristana. and you win. Oh. No, you shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> oh, uh, so no. now they lose the objective bounty and a dragon and one of their wing cones. Because in oh, five minutes they'd have hard. soul, and now this is uh, now enemies get the scale, and their comp is really good. I really do feel like this Zarat feels more useful than me. I'm two levels up. No, he's, than him. he's actually. Like, this I really feels like he's, he's he's more useful. No, they just have an easier comp to play. Velkos is doing so much here. Like he's he's playing this Volkus ridiculously game. well. He's very good stuff. He's controlling the map. He's doing everything, mostly everything right. He denies enemies existence of having frontline engage everything because they can't ever engage if Volkus is there. He's never gonna die if it goes flash, and enemies just always get zoned and destroyed before the fight begins. Well, they have a chance to recover Dragon. He should QR this long range. Go 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 go. Yeah. I would go just earlier to give Lee entry. He loses the Dragon heart out. Okay. my dad. Yeah, this is really bad for him. I don't think it's all good. This is really, really bad. Because now, what's your way of snowballing? You just got Baron, you wasted it. You just killed Dragon, enemies got it. And the objective bounty, okay? So what do you do? How do you end this game? I don't see it. Like, look at their comp. They need to choke them out of vision, and they need to flip two Blitzkrank hooks, like godly hooks, in order to break open their base. Because enemies, map is constricted, they have shorter rotations, they don't have to exit their base pretty much ever. They move together, they got very good chase, very good lockdown, very good pick. This game is like, so much easier for enemies to play. You have to be super creative as a red side. Okay, Blitz. He hooks it. I, I don't know what enemies are doing there, but okay. They, they get it. Enemies have no reason to be out of the base. They got everything. I think Still. Ban should be broken in Season 14. Still I'm getting sure. this turret? I, I don't know how do you do it. I don't know how do you open up the base. Zerge is gonna clear, Ver is gonna clear. Item does cost a lot in season 14. Maybe Bane flips 1v3 out, please. But it's not nearly as, as consistent as a strategy as you want it to be. This is good, choking out resources, but it's a consolation prize. Considering uh, we didn't do anything with Baron and we lost Dragon. So now they need at least 9 more minutes till Soul. And 14 till Elder, which is just fucked. This game's running a bit long. Uh, the, the review video might be a bit long, but I hope you guys are enjoying this sort of style. Last one did well, that's why I'm so curious that uh, we, we baited him into playing Velkus again. <laughs> but I'm glad, because he's... Uh, trying to think, like, for the He's getting a better feeling. He's getting better feeling of Velkus than last game, for sure. It feels more useful, more Velkus-y. Guy dying a lot. Yeah, enemies take their pick. 300 gold trouble then. Yeah, this is risky. Why is he They're 4v5. Oh, <laughs> Blitz is AFK. Yeah, they need miracle hooks. He's not popping ghosts. He's, he's, he's gonna die here. He's getting, he's getting caught. What? What is blood hooking? They're four v five. The threat, like dude, that's a red zone, well, you know. Like if you instantly be, don't get a kill in like first be. two seconds, you gotta dip the, the fuck the, out. Their comp and group is very, very oppressive. Yeah, they're just too good. Yeah. His team just has to not get baited and die. Enemies are gonna be off tempo because they're greeting for objectives, right? Enemies should have converted this into a proper reset. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Vain go vain. Go vain. 
Now they just lost Baron. See, like this is another low velo thing. Well, not a low velo. This is a master plague mistake, right? So you kill a bunch of enemies. Your Baron is 40 seconds, and you're thinking Velkus is a 40 second timer. So we can't quite do the Baron. We can't rush the Baron, which is fair enough. You probably can't. But if you push for mid turret, you're going to be so off tempo. Enemies are obviously not going to let you recall perfectly. They're going to chase you down. And if they don't kill you, you're so off tempo then that they're just going to do Baron. So the play there was to go in deep while you're winning because they got two kills right you go in deep place a bunch of fucking vision prepare the baron reset and enemies are there 20 seconds before baron spawns or 15 or 10 while the red team cannot be in shape because velkus is not there and you just play the baron that's the proper play for enemies here so now they just lost baron like they they lost baron and then baron gives the blue or red team another chance to recover the game which is very good for us but bad for them you know Yeah, he's just gonna play zone duty. Don't go for, go deeper. Zara steel never happens no really. Zara steals are shit. See, the issue is now they were supposed to be threatening the soul, which would be very good for them. It's not gonna kill. Um, but now they're not threatening soul, and soul is soul into elder is one of the cleanest ways to as a team fight character like Velikus to end the game, especially when your comp is a deficit like, How long like does theirs. It take me to do a blue? Three combos, three passive procs. So now they're getting a third dragon, which enemies are obviously just gonna give up because they're not stupid. Yeah, by now. They should give it up. There's no reason for enemies to to, Banshee? to flip Maybe on that. Banshee they want they want the red team to be close to their base so they look to get picks. Yeah, their enemy combo Banshee, I think, is the play. Cause soon Varus is gonna just one shot everything. Olaf is already back in the game. Uh Nunu is near f he's full AP, like and from base he's deadly as fuck. Kinda of sad, we are 30 minutes, we still don't have a salt point. Yeah. That's what Enemies really are fucked him up. We need to kill him. As he can kill everyone. He's so strong. Yeah, Benshee needs to come out now. Like, he's gonna- Zerd's gonna start this- the magic mantle, not amp uh, Yeah, exactly. Uh, the, the value of amp here is minimal compared to, like, extra 25 MR. Uh, he needs to get Benshee's rush. Otherwise, Zerd ult just kills all of your gameplay. All Zerd has to do is ult and chase you down every single team fight, and he kills your value. And you're the carry here. Like, you're the guy popping off. The Phantom. So, you give him too much. That's a sad thing about Zerd. His late game is too powerful for you. Uh, he outranges you, and you just you have to respect it and build a defensive item. There's no other way. Like you can be like, oh, I'm good, I'm gonna dodge. No, you're not. Like, you're just not gonna dodge 15 skill shots. And if you do, you're you're zoned horribly. Ah, nice try. Close. And now he can actually ult. He can actually ult off of that. And he should force his flash with that. Like, in theory, I mean, Nemesis is just not respecting here. Nemesis is just being like, oh, you, you're low, you low trash. Like, here you have to ghost. If your chance of survival is high, you just don't play around with you dying, because that kills your entire game. So uh, this is instantly merits a ghost. And with ghost, you might have a slight chance of re-engage. Uh, you can move towards the enemy, so he's going to, like, predictively ult to defend himself, so you go back. Uh, it's going to be pretty good. That, that's yep. kind of how you do this. And his team lost. And so he, and just because he's matched, from Zarato. just because he's matched with Zerat, even though Zerat did nothing, but he's like, you're leaving your team to flip then. It's this, rough, man. This is again one of the reasons why Volker shouldn't be in a side lane here in the bot lane. He should be the one on the side of the team and controlling the team. While you can have two duelers, Tristan and, and uh, Vayne on the sides. And this is master, what, 3 to 600 elo, somebody typed? Item. Lord Dom's a bad item on Vars. He should be able to defend with Baron easy, with his wave clear, like, he's him, he's Velkus, you know. Velkus is very good at stalling out games and defending his shitty teammates. And, and for some reason, uh, people still hate him. Despite him, like, providing his team multiple chances. Like, he couldn't be more uh, beneficial for his team. Very good combo. Close. Blind ray? Can it? They're gonna have heal again. It's so oh, sad, it's just... He's a bit teamless. Nice try.
When he gets benched, he's gonna have a lot easier time moving around and playing the game. They're gonna have to bait another Baron. They're gonna have to bait third Baron. They're gonna have to bait for Elder. This game is going very long. Oh no! That was a pretty much guaranteed Q. Go! Oh, Zerd nearly face checked there. He should be aiming for Zerd. He's never gonna kill Nunu. So like, he's never gonna kill Nunu. He's also Zonyas. He's just pure bait. He ultimate Zonyas. <laughs> Did he just this... hook him out? Yeah, this Blitz is just... Oh, Why is he not popping Ghost friend. ever? Like, you need to pop Ghost. It's just you a just respect play. World, like, he's running... Uh, I think he's... Yeah, he's running Cosmic Insight, if I remember correctly. Which is what you should run with this playstyle and build. He's running Lucidity Boots. His Ghost cooldown is nothing. Like, you spam that. Ghost is just so spammable here. Like, every team fight in late game, you can afford to Ghost. I can't. Like, at the start of the fight. Okay, let's see this finish. This is the first time they're losing the map. They're like on the 40% side of the map instead of like 60, 70, 80. And this is the curse that I talked about in the early to mid game. Because they were winning too hard. They went too close to the enemy base too early. And without winning on the dragons and barons, it's very, very easy to throw. I'm very close to Banshee. Yep. This Banshee has to happen before Baron. It's crucial. It will increase their Baron chances like 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 10-15%, I swear. Such a massive spike. Banshee into pinks. Pink! Oh. Too late game. 314. I should be using my ghost I haven't used my ghost. 314-159-265. 358-979. We can win, I think. Especially if we kill Zara, then our lives are gonna get much easier. But then again, who kills Zara? Like, Vayne has to get him, I think. Uh, he might position awkwardly in a Baron fight, because Zara has to be in a vulnerable spot here. Yeah, but Banshee. Oh my god, look at this. This is exactly the perpendicular angles he's supposed to be catching. He's a bit too close there. Uh, with Ghost, he should be fine, maybe. He's doing very good angles there, because he splits the fight. It's massive. You should combo this. You should have comboed that. Even if Zara tools, like, then you cancel and try to run around. Could have destroyed the fight at the start. Now Zara's gonna just turn on him. It's good for them, because of his initial setup. I think he set up a fight in such a way that he should be winning. Stana is just farming. Yeah, that could have been their fight. If they the did flash. it right, they could have gone both objectives. Soul. He played it nearly perfectly. This is free soul, right? Oh, wait, Olaf is alive. Just not just spectating, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, the issue with Velkas is uh, he has no setup here, so he cannot rely on team setting him up. So what he has to do is play that uh, perpendicular angle, right? And you're going to split the enemies, and your Q is going to play three ways. You go Q here, and it's like, phew, you hit middle and two sides. So you're splitting up enemies, you're controlling the fight, and they can't ever move in on your team. Ever. And if they over-engage on you, you just have to control your positioning. And that is the highest impact playstyle you can do. And he nearly solo won that fight. He got very good ah, in the preconditions, the but then he got ulted. And then later he still had a chance, because Zerat didn't ult him. He had a chance to full combo that, and he didn't. Nice Could have just up. instantly wiped him. So now enemies are threatening Sol. Uh, they're going to have to beeline Baron this after this, item. and that's going to decide the game. But this Baron so is I'm more here. difficult now, because Velkis no sums. Miki's been sleeping all day. Unacceptable. <laughs> Kanui, so cat. thank you for the sub. I can't go for blue. Go, go, gadget. See, right now without sums, this uh, positioning on the side is a bit more difficult. Right? Because now Zerat ults you, you got nothing. You have no escape. Somebody flashes you like Olaf, you got nothing. It's very, very risky and a lot more difficult to play. But with Ghost, you can control the fight. 
Luckily, his cooldowns are very low. It's so not late game, ladies and gentlemen. We're in trouble. Yep. Yeah. Third really bombard. It's really tough, man. It's really tough. Because Blitz hooked anyone yet the whole game? <laughs> he did! And then he made you miss your ult. I don't feel like it. He did it once. Next to the dragon pit. Okay, they got Vayne threatening. Hits. They got Vayne threatening like crazy here. This is this is their play. She gets turret, she gets inhibs. He can ghost, he can ghost, he can, he can zone. Shot. This is it, this is it, this is their moment. They have to they have to hold him, they have to hold him. Ghost and control him. Ah, he got hit. He's gonna die now. Ah, Vayne is trying to end. Zerat is not here. Can she do it? Yep. A GG. Perfect. Poor Zerat. She finishes. Let's go! He played Let's it really well. Didn't thank <laughs> the new new dog. He played it well. Good job. Good job. Oh, that was I awesome. I can't, man. I'm so sorry. Oh, good. I'm so I'm happy. So sorry, the new new with 5k moose speed. Well, because redeemed. This Blitzcrank can't fucking tank for me. He might play more Blitz, more well, because of squishy. this. Show us the damage dealt. Whatever, man. Fucking this nice. Damage. Nice. Good fucking game.